Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What is codominance? Now you might be thinking then that again how come there is not a dominance? Now as I said Mendel gave his laws based on the experiments which he performed on the pea plant. But after Mendel, a lot of scientists performed a lot of other experiments and that is how they gradually got to know that what all additional facts were still there. So once it came up with the concept of incomplete dominance, then it came up with another concept of co-dominance. Now co means something coordination, that means something which happens together, right? So anything that goes together, that is called, that has uh, uh, this co in before the word. So co-dominance is also when both the parents dominate together. Now in incomplete dominance, we saw that none of them could actually dominate. So they blended to give an intermediate phenotype. Here we will see that both the parents will dominate and both the parents will dominate together. So let us see what is co-dominance. So it is appearance of a mixed phenotype. So please understand the difference between intermediate phenotype and mixed phenotype. Mixed means you will have the dominant trait will also get expressed, the recessive trait will also get expressed. So both the traits will get expressed, both the parents will get expressed. So that is mixed phenotype. In a heterozygous obtained when two homozygous parents of different phenotypes are crossed. So something like this, here you can see a red flower if you cross it with a yellow flower. So one option is as per Mendel, you can get red flower because red is dominant over yellow. So that is as per Mendel. As per incomplete dominance, you neither get red, you neither get yellow, you get something like orange, something in between. So that is incomplete dominance. But if you get something where half of the petals are red and half of the petals are yellow, what does that mean? That means that both of them are being expressed. Even the red is being expressed, the yellow is being expressed. So this is a mixed phenotype and this is called co-dominance. That means both the traits are dominating and they are equally dominating. So here F1 generation resembles both the parents. So you cannot say that this is an intermediate because it has some traits which exactly matches with this one, it has so it has some features exactly matching with this, it has some features exactly matching with this. So it resembles, the F1 generation resembles both the parents. Here both the alleles are equally expressed. As I said, no, no one is dominating over the other one. Both are getting equally expressed. So let us take an example of co-dominance and the human ABO blood grouping is the best example where we can see co-dominance. So let us look at what happens in the blood grouping. Now ABO blood groups are controlled by a gene R. So the gene which controls your blood group that means this is the gene which actually decides which blood group you are going to have. Right? So this is the gene I. Now this gene has three alleles like how you saw in case of uh, the the plant, the pea plant, you saw that everything, most of the things had two alleles. Whether you talk about the seed color, whether you talk about the seed shape, you talk about the height of the plant, everything had two alleles. But here, you see they have more than two alleles. The gene has three alleles and the three alleles are IA, IB and I. So these are the three alleles. Now what is the difference between these three alleles? Now I, all of them will be used or they will all they actually control the synthesis of proteins. Now IA produce sugar. IB also produce sugar but it is slightly different from that produced by IA whereas I doesn't produce any sugar at all. So that is the I mean actual purpose of each of these alleles. So that is how their functions are different. Okay, now what are the various genotypes possible with these alleles? Now, each person, each individual will have any two of these three alleles. Everybody will have, because we all know, right, a gene is made up of an allelic pair. So, two alleles make a gene. So, one person can have any two alleles. They can either have IAIB, they can have IAI, they can have IBI. So, any two out of the three alleles can be present in an individual. There, there are various possibilities, I mean various combinations can be had with these three alleles. So let us have a look at that. Now what are the various possibilities? Now let us suppose these are the two parents. So now if 
one parent if the genotype of the offspring so this is the offspring i am talking about right so if we say that the offspring has a genotype ia ia so what does that mean what will the parent have again there are possibilities the parent can have ia ia so that is one possibility that the parent can have if the genotype is iai that means the parent has ia the parent two has i if the genotype is iaib that means parent one has ia parent two has ib similarly in this case we can find out all the possible options for the two parents because from there only the genotype is coming out here so maybe both of them have i here here so here again if you see maybe this has i and this has i a so let me here maybe i and this is i b so these are the various possible options that can happen uh, with the parents i mean depending upon the blood groups of the parents the blood group of the offspring will be decided now the question is now as as you see here in in some cases both the parents contribute the same allele so in that case we know what will be the blood group so if the genotype is going to be ia ia the blood group is going to be a similarly if it is going to be ib ib the blood group is going to be b now what will happen when the alleles are different so in the heterozygote scenarios what is going to happen there so for that we should have knowledge on the dominance of the various blood group alleles so what are the possible i mean who will dominate whom so let us talk about dom so ia and ib are completely dominant over i now why are we using the term completely dominant because now we have two concepts one is complete dominance the other is incomplete dominance so ia and ib so if you have a scenario where ia i is present that means it it is going to have blood group a similarly if the genotype is ib i that means it is going to have blood group b so i is going to be the recessive allele correct so ia and ib will be completely dominant over i now what about ia and ib what if a person has a genotype ia ib so who will dominate when ia will dominate or ib so ia and ib they that is the example of co dominance they are co dominant with each other so ia will also get expressed ib will also get expressed and as a result what would be the blood group the blood group would be ab and that is why we have four different types of blood groups right there are four blood groups which are seen in human beings and what are they a b ab and o so when do you get a when when the person has ia so when the ia allele is present i similarly blood group b when ib allele is present this when both ia and ib alleles are present and o when i is present so o is the scenario where no sugar is being produced because only i is present right and ab is when ia and ib both are present b is when ib is present and a is when ia is present so that is how we get the four different blood groups now let us make use of the same table and let us try to see what would be the blood group for each of these genotypes so the blood group is nothing but the phenotypes that is what we actually see the one that is uh, that trait which gets displayed to us is phenotype so here blood group is going to be our phenotype so if the genotype is ia ia so homozygous both has ia ia so blood group will be a if it is ia i as i said ia is completely dominant over i so it is again going to be blood group a if it is ia ib they are co dominant so both will get ex express themselves so both will equally dominant so it is going to be ab ib ib again it will be b similarly ib i again is b i a i b again will be a b i i this is going to be blood group o because it doesn't have either of the sugar producing alleles i a or i b i a i is again going to be a and this is again going to be b so this is how the blood group is determined that which individual will have which blood group and also the parents play a role because at end of the day these alleles are coming from the parents so one allele is coming from the mother the other allele is coming from the father so 
you you will actually get to see a lot of questions coming out of these blood group uh, uh, and this blood group uh, scenarios so where you will be given the alleles of the parents I and mean, you will be given the blood group of the parents of both the parents the mother and the father and then you will have to say whether this person with a specific blood group can be a kid of those parents so there again you will have to find out what are the possible offsprings or what are the possible blood groups which are possible with those alleles of the parents. So this is how the dominance in blood group is studied. So here if you look at the genotypes and the phenotypes, what do you see? If you look at the phenotypes, how many unique phenotypes are you able to see? So if you talk about phenotypes, there are four unique phenotypes. And what are those four unique phenotypes? A, B, A, B and O. And these are the four blood groups which are seen in human beings. So that, that's about phenotypes. Similarly, if you talk about genotypes. So in genotypes, how many unique combinations do you see? So here if you see I, A, I, A is one unique combination. I, A, I is one unique combination. I, A, I, B another unique combination. This is another, this is another one. But from this, if you see this is a repetition, it was already there. I, I is a unique combination. This and this are again repetition. So total you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 6 unique combination of genotypes. Right, so you have, I mean with the 3 alleles of the uh, blood group gene, that is I, A, I, B and I, you can have 4 unique phenotypes and 6 unique genotypes. And what are the six unique genotypes? This is I A I A, I B I B, I A I B, I A I, I B I, and I I. So these are the unique genotypes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt a free online test, get free study material find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.